Well, it's been a little while, but I do have some candid products to show you. Starting with this wonderful anti-gravity or zero-gravity lounging chair. folks welcome back to Camp Geeks and today I'm showing you this camping chair now I've actually been using this for a little while now uh, I've taken it camping taking it to a uh, drive-in movie theater um, taking it to several locations kind of all over the place to soccer games try, again, trying to get an idea of how, what I like and what I don't like about it um, sorry about the construction noise in the background but there's a house being built a few little ways away and it sounds like they're great in the yard but they've been doing it for We've been working for weeks, so got to deal with it. But that said, this is a chair from Timber Ridge. Uh, it is their zero gravity. They technically call it their oversized zero gravity chair. It is a little bit wider, I think, than my standard camp here that I typically go with. So it's got a little more room to it. Um, I have a hard time saying it's extra large or anything. It really isn't. There's wider ones out there. Um, it does have a cup holder back here. Uh, that cup holder is removable. Uh, it just kind of pops off. Um, and I can show you that here in a minute. I, you know, where the cup holder is, there's actually, I think, two different uh, angles you can have the cup holder at, so depending on where you put your chair and what's easiest for you to grab. Um, it works, it's fine. Kind of chintzy on the cup holder side, to be honest about it. Pretty cheap. Um, little pillow. Um, the pillow is actually kind of just strapped onto the chair itself. Um, and it just gives you something at least to put your head against. Uh, during the hot summer months, or the hotter months, this material breathes incredibly well. Um, I think they call it a beach chair as well. Um, absolutely. For hot weather, it's great. For cold weather, you're going to be wrapping yourself with blankets. So, like, um, here in the Midwest, it gets, especially in certain times of the year, it's warm during the day, but it gets pretty cold and damp at night. And I was wrapping myself with a blanket when I was at the movie theater, the drive-in theater with this guy sitting back because there's a lot more air movement through the chair. Whereas my wife who had our standard chairs, thicker material, didn't have as much air movement, didn't have as much cold issues. So um, let me uh, bring around, I'll, I'll kind of do a walk around with the chair that way you can kind of see it. So you can see here, um, there are locking mechanisms here um, that essentially when you push it down all the way, kind of locks it into place. I wouldn't say it locks it, but it definitely gives a lot more resistance and there's a click. You can hear the clicking and I'll, I'll do that here when, when I actually sit in it one more time. Um, the headrest, like I said, it just bungees onto there. So you don't have to have this on if you don't want it. You can just remove it. Um, all metal construction. It's not, it is a steel, so it is a little bit heavier of a chair. And then here's the cup holder, like I was saying. So you can kind of see where there's two different positions. Now you can kind of put the cup in, so straight up, we're kind of at an angle that's easier to get out, especially when you're lounging. That's what I found at least, so that's what I've been keeping it at, that slight angle. And then there's the locker on this side too. Uh, and so I'll actually show you how that uh, the locking mechanism works real quick. So if I do lean back, uh, it kind of just glides, and it does go to, to a full, then you could sleep in this baby. But if I do these locking mechanisms, um, if I can get it to click, there we go. You kind of hear it. Now, when you lock it all the way, it does lock pretty good, especially when you get both sides activated. Um, that way, you're less likely for anything to move. I wouldn't want to put like if you had it out like this and locked it. I wouldn't want to put a whole bunch of weight down there. You'll probably still you could do some maybe some damage to it because uh, it is just plastic. It kind of teeth in there, so you can strip those out. So don't go crazy with it but it does work really good the chair has a 300 pound weight rating I have no doubt um, I'm 190 195 and with my daughter my daughter on me when she's about 100 no, no issues whatsoever so um, but that's their weight rating on the chair as it sits before I finish up just wanted to show you how it folds up it essentially just kind of 
folds into a standard wedge shape. I'm not going to say it's light. It, I'm not going to say it's crazy heavy, but it is not really light. Um, and then to fold it out, you do have to kind of pull the legs apart. There we go. Then once you get it going, it's, it's good to go again. But it is comfortable. So the chair um, retails for about 80 bucks, 79 bucks, I think, you can get it through Amazon for. Um, I'll put a link at the top of the description. This is the blue color. Uh, they also do offer a, I think two other, there's a gray, maybe a green, maybe a black and gray. I can't remember to be honest, but there are three colors in total that I, I do know that. Um, but that said, I will put a ticket, uh, link at the top of the description. If you have any questions, let me know. I uh, apologize for how long it's taking me to get videos out, but I do have a lot coming. I really do. And hopefully, before the weather goes crazy, we get a lot of these out. So, thanks for checking in. Thanks for uh, watching the video. Click subscribe, like, share, and we'll catch you on a future video here on Camp Geeks. I'm going to take a nap while you guys chill out.